Good morning, everybody. Let's get ready to go. No days off. Mm. I see my man Christopher is ready. What's happening, Chris? That's the. <clears throat> That's dope. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, man, I'm happy to be back. Y'all prayers is what got me through. It was like uh, it was like last Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, man. I was just confined. I was out. I wasn't able to make or do or go or think or eat nothing. Nothing at all. It was weird, but it's all good. I'm back now. My appetite is back. My taste is back. Uh, you know, you know, it's it's true that you lose your taste. Yeah, it's true that you lose. You've never caught it before. Uh huh. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. (laughs) Wow. All right. Yeah, man. That's how I felt. And in fact, I think I had caught it the year. I think I caught it in 2019. Cause I was really, really sick in December of 2019 for two weeks to the point where I thought I had to go to the hospital, but then I just somehow came over it. And then, uh, you know, it was before anybody even knew what it was or even, it wasn't even announced yet. And then the next year in 2020 is where, uh, it was announced. And, and then I went the whole two years, man. I, I, you know, I mean, I dealt with customers, I dealt with people, I touched, you know what I'm saying? But I just, I, I was okay. But you know, I, th- I think what I caught just recently was that Omicron variant. That's what I think I caught. So, so, yeah, man. It's all good, though. Nevertheless. Mm-hmm. My wife, my wife's in the hospital. Uh, well, works, works in the lab. lab. So, you know, you know, she's around, around a little bit more people, people than I am. am. So, yeah, yeah, but I'm like I said, man, it's glad to see you back, man. See you back with me. You know, I saw yeah, you on King Talk last night, so I was like, all right, my man is yeah. back doing his thing. <laughs> <laughs> and I almost didn't do that. I almost didn't do that. I was, uh, uh, but I had told JR that I was going to make it, and so I had just went ahead and went up. And so it, it turned, and I'm glad I went because it was a good show. So I'm glad that that was there. All right, guys. Yeah, most definitely. Let's get ready to make it happen. Uh, we do this every morning. Welcome, YouTube. Let me swing over. So what we're doing, uh, YouTube, for those that don't know, is that we are doing the Insanity Workout. And we're doing it uh, uh, every Tuesday through Sunday. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday at 6 o'clock in the morning Pacific Standard Time. So part of my lifestyle, for those that don't know, is that I work out. Uh, religiously, even if I do some, I have to move. I have to do something. I used to go really, really hard and used to be the guy that if, if only thing I needed was a camera, then you'd see all kind of different fucking video. I, I'm not him anymore, right? That was 15 years ago. That's not even that long ago. It was more like 10 years ago. Um, but now I just want to maintain a healthy lifestyle. I just want to be able to eat what I want to eat. I want to be able to move. I want to be able to have great sex. I want to be able to uh, throw a football with my sons. I want to be able to have fun and do things, even though I'm a little older. Um, and so being almost 50 years old, I'll be 50 in June. Uh, I wanted to, uh, trying to open up my little, uh, health and fitness world to my friends over here at YouTube. And so I work out every day live. We're live right now. Uh, 
uh, Monday, I'm sorry, Tuesday through 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 Sunday. Mondays is our days off. Mondays is our days off. Wait, some people say, why did you pick uh, Monday to be the day off? Why wouldn't you pick the weekend? The reason why, one of the reasons why is because if you take a weekend off, you tend to take two. So if I take, if we take off Saturday, people tend to never come back on Sunday. And that's because on the off day, they treat, they treat their cheat day as a day that they can eat whatever they want. And then they end up taking two days after that because it's another relaxed day because they don't have to work. So what you do is you pick a work day and you usually pick one of the most difficult work days to be your off day. That way, if you work out on Saturday morning, you'll be more conscious about what you eat the rest of that Saturday. And then, shit, since you got to be back on Sunday, you might as well do it then as well. And so what happens is people who work out Saturday mornings tend to not want to waste their workout by eating a bunch of bullshit that they otherwise would have eaten if they didn't work out at all. And so that's why we don't use the weekends as a day off. Saturdays and Sundays are days that we actually do something early in the morning so that when we go and do our rest of our day, even though we may not have to work, we make sure that we're conscious about what we eat. Because remember, fitness and health, losing weight, 80% of it is in the kitchen. 20% of it is uh, in the gym. And then it's 100% mindset, right? So that's why we have our Mondays off. It's like, damn, I'm going back to work on Monday. Well, that's the day that you get to chill. You know, since you get to go back to work on Monday and you got to catch up on those reports, then that's the day that you don't have to worry about getting up in the morning. The rest of the week, we're working out. I appreciate all you guys being here. Please like the video. Thank you so much. Uh, we appreciate you. What you're going to see right now is me and a few of my closest YouTube friends knocking out this workout. It's only 45. Eh, this one is about 50 minutes. It's about 50 minute workout. It's a high intensity interval training workout. Uh, what you're going to really just see us do is sweat and try to keep up. Uh, you won't be able to watch the video or hear the video, but we can. If you guys ever want to join us in the workout, all you got to do is hit the link at the top of the chat or it's in the description of the video. And then I'll be happy to let you in. I, I, I do not let people in once the video starts. I get a lot of a lot of times when we're working out, I get a lot of requests of people trying to jump in. And it's names that I don't know. But the reason why is because we're already started. But this is the time, the first 15 minutes after six o'clock. Uh, is between 6 and 6.15 is when we usually let people in uh, to get ready to get started with us. So if you guys haven't made it by now, because we're getting ready to start right now, then you'll have to catch us the next morning. But you can always follow what we're doing on the screen and try to emulate that at home. So we're going we're gonna to knock out our warm up, then we're going to do our stretch, and then we're going to get into the workout. If nothing else, if, if you're watching this from YouTube, I want you to, to do the stretch. Do the stretch. The stretch is the minimum that you should be doing if you're gonna be watching us here at YouTube, all right? So let's go ahead and get started, you guys. That's right, hi, Kai. I see you, big dog. <coughs> How hey, Sorrel. Let's make it happen. Good morning, Lakeisha. Good, good morning, life. <laughs> That's all right. Yeah, we're gonna loosen them up. Let's loosen them seconds up. Remember, we gotta we're gonna start seeing our results. You're gonna actually yourself. I'm, I'm starting to see mine already now, probably because I got a little sick. But you guys are gonna if you haven't seen anything, you're gonna start seeing it a week after next. You got other people are gonna start seeing it. Go. Hey, that's what I'm talking. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. All right, guys. Let's get ready to go. Let's uh, start this video and away we go. Get ready to go, guys. <sighs> I 
Cool. It's like we do every morning, you guys. Every morning. You know, it takes a while to form a habit. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to build a habit. We want to be the kind of people who feel like if we don't work out, then we're cheating on ourselves. Let's do jumping jacks. Here we go. Nice and slow. Good job, guys. All right, here we go with the Heisman. Right to left. Body down, knee up. Butt kicks, let's go. I need, let's go. Mummy kicks, let's go. Let's go. Push through, push through. You're ready, 10 seconds. Here we go guys, jack it out. Heisman, here we go. There you go. Good job, Sorrel.
One, two, three. Come on. Butt kicks, let's go. <clears throat> Come on, you can do it. <clears throat> Here we go. Knees up, let's go. Here we go. Arms out. Arms straight. Kick it out. All right, push it, guys. Push it. Good job, Chris. Push it through. Here we go. Jack it out. As fast as you can go. Good job. Here we go. Swing him. Swing him. You got it. Here we go. One, two, three. Push it. Butt kicks. Move at your own pace. Ready? Take a break if you need it. That's right, take a break if you need it. All right, last one. 
Mummy kicks. Push through, guys. Come on. Chin up. Arm straight. Kick it out. Good job, guys. All right, YouTube. Everybody at YouTube, follow me. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Hold it. Go down in the flat back. Arms straight out. Legs straight. Neck in neutral spine, facing the floor. Now lunge to the right. Good job, you two. Come on, everybody, stretch with me. Take it to the other side, same thing. All right, guys, take it over to a hip flexor stretch. Alright, let's drop the arms down. And then do a body twist. Drop down, switch it. Drop it down, split your leg. All right, here we go. Go on to your back leg, back leg straight, 90 degrees. We're gonna do a leg contraction, in and out. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right. Turn it out to a deep lunge. If you can't go do a deep lunge, you can stay up like me. All right, guys, other side. Hip flexor stretch. Back leg straight. And then lift up. Both hands down to the floor, guys. And then left hand up. We're going to do a body twist. Thank you. 
take it down, switch hands up. Good job, guys. We're doing our morning workout where most people are not doing. They make excuses. They got the workout clothes. Let's do a lunge on the other side. You guys know the people, the girls that buy their sports bras and the cute workout outfit sets. The athleisure. But when you ask them, when do they work out? They don't. They just take pictures. They take photos like they work out, but they don't really do anything. That's not us. All right, hands to the floor. Walk over to the right side. Stretch that hamstring. Walk over to the other side. I know so many people who buy nice workout clothes just to wear them to brunch, to go run errands and shit. Hands to the knees, let's do a contract and relax. Oh, stretch that back, roll that back. Oh, two more, come on. Roll it up. Two deep breaths. Good job. Let's stretch our quads real quick. Flamingo stretch. Point, find a spot on the wall, it'll stabilize you. To the other side. You guys remember how difficult it was for you to stand on one foot three weeks ago? Exactly. Inhale. All right, guys. Three weeks ago, you couldn't even stand still. Three weeks later, it's no big deal. That's your body changing. All right, guys. That's ready to go. Let's go. Suicide. Come on. Is it? All right, guys, power squats. Here we go. Perfect, Kai, Kai, perfect. All right, let's take it up. Come on, climb up. Good job. All right, get ready to ski down, Chris. Come on, let's go down the hill.
Come on, Surreal, keep up with me. We're almost made it to the lodge. Take a break. That's a good job, guys. Here we go. Power squats, here we go. Come on. Come on. Ski it down, guys. Push through. You can do it. Eight seconds. I know guys, who wants to do this shit every day? Here we go guys, let's go. Let's go. Good job. Good job, Chris. You ready? Power squats, let's go. That's right, Surreal. That's right, Surreal. Good job, love. Let's go. Come on. I hear you, Lakeisha. Climb up. Come on. Ha. Climb out. Push through. Get down.
Twist the feet. Scissor run. Sorrell. It looks like Sorrell's getting MVP award today. Keep it going. Open up. Open it up. Turn to the right. Front. Left. Front. Move right. Move left. Move back. Stand. Break. Come on. Open it up. Open it up. Turn to the right. Front. Left. Front. Move right. Move left. Move back. Right. Good job, guys. Take a break. Hydrate. Hydrate yourself. Good job, Lakeisha. That's right, you guys. Beat me. Ready? Level one drills. Four push ups. Run it out. All right, catch up with me. Four, three, two, one. Up, back. Four, three, two, one. Come on. In, up, back. Four, three, two, one. In, up, one, two, three, four. All right, guys. The abs. Here we go, guys. Right, left, right, left, right, left. In and out abs, guys. You gotta do some. Mm. 
Let's go. Basketball on the other side. Good job, Surreal. Good job, Hi Kai. Here we go, four push-ups. Run it out. All right, up, down, back, four. One, two, three, four. Run it out. Come on. All right, guys. One, two, left, right, left, right, left. Come on, guys. You gotta do something. Here we go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Come on. Top ten percent. Sorrell got the MVP. Shoot the ball, Sorrell. That's right, babe. I hear you, Lakeisha. That's right, love. Right. Left. Right. Left. Right. Left. Come on, Chris. I'm waiting for you. Give me four, Chris. One. Two. Run it out. Up. Back down. Give me all four, Chris, not three. One, two, three, four. Good job. Run it out. Come on, Sorrell. Sorrell. One, two, three, four. Run it out, Sorrell. Good job, love. Three, two, one. Run it out, Shannon. Whew, whew, whew. In, up, down, back. One, two, three, four. Run it out, Shannon. Ha, 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 ha. In, up. Run it out, Shannon. Four, three, two, one. Ha. Good job, guys. In and out ass. In and out. 
Don't let me catch you. I'm doing my right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. I'm about to do 10. Don't let me beat you. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Everybody up. Throw jabs. Throw my jab, cross jacks. Come on, guys. Come on, high Kai. Come on, guys. Ha. Faster, 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 harder, harder. Go. Come on, Lakeisha. Ten seconds, babe. Come on. Last exercise. That's right, high Kai. Last one. Ha. Ha. Hoo. 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 And you guys are fucking done. Come on. Good job, guys. You did it. Stretch it out, guys. All right, flat back. Lunge it over. Other side. Hip flexor. Right leg back.
straighten it out. Hip flexor, back leg straight. Roll up. Good job. Deep breath. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale in. Inhale in. And you guys are done. Good job. Let's close that. We keep oh, boy. Oh, man. All right, team. Remember, <sighs> it's not meant to be easy. <sighs> That's the thing. It's not designed to be easy. It's not for, if it was easy, everybody would be here. FYI, if it was easy, everybody would be here. But everybody's not here. In fact, I'm surprised that this many people have lasted this long. Most people don't hang out with me this long. Most people do not, most people do not stick with me this long. So congratulations, guys. Congratulations. Especially to those that's here every day. Most people find an excuse, they find a reason, they, 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 they claim that they're injured, they don't want to modify, suddenly a job pops up, suddenly their schedule change. it's always something guaranteed, guaranteed. People find excuses, but we don't, that's why one of my models is, you see the t-shirts, no excuses, we don't do excuses over here, excuses are tools of the incompetent. So I'm very, very excited and happy that you guys are here. I'm happy that you guys are making it happen. That's right, Hi Kai. <clears throat> Get that after work meditation in, son. Ooh, yes. Good job, Lakeisha. Uh, we heard you. Good job. Sorrel got the MVP today, though. Sorrel didn't stop. Sorrel, yes, Sorrel. Oh, it was hard. Sorrel didn't stop. Up. She didn't stop. Oh, yeah. Every time I looked up. Sorrel. Thank you. The only breaks I saw Sorrel do was the breaks that we all were supposed to do. Other than that, she was moving. No matter what the pace was, she was moving. She didn't stop moving. So Sorrel, fantastic job, love. You got to move it to lose it. That's right. <laughs> you know, we sit around. You know, part of our our, our part of our space on YouTube. We could we don't talk about automobiles. You know what I'm saying? We're not car enthusiasts. We're not talking about the latest Tesla or the newest Mercedes Benz that came out. Well, you know, we're not gamers. We're not up here talking about the most recent Call of Duty or, you know, Roblox or uh, some, some uh, the, the new uh, Xbox console. We're not, we're not a gamers co uh, community over here. We don't really do electronic reviews. You know, when a new iPad comes out, we're not the ones, we don't have a family of people who's, who geeks out on the latest iPad. You know, what we do is we talk about relationships and entrepreneurship. That's what we do. That's the community that we have. That's the that's what we've carved out in our little corner of YouTube. And we welcome people to come into our space and we discuss uh, male and female relationships primarily. And then after that, we talk about entrepreneurship. But the main thing we talk about is relationships. We talk about, uh, you know, the high value men and high value women. We talk about dating. We talk about who 
uh, should be asking who out and should you have sex on the first date? That's what we talk about. That's what that's what we're currently discussing, right? Now, with that said, one of the things that we talk about is fit, feminine, friendly, faithful, and fun. I call it the five Fs, but everybody, a lot of different content creators have different versions of that. One thing that's for sure is the first three. Everybody uses the first three, fit, feminine, and friendly. The first one, fit, we all use. We all use fit. So considering, it doesn't matter if you're Kevin Samuels, doesn't matter if you're Shannon Rawls, doesn't matter if you're over at the Peak Network, doesn't matter if you're Tommy Sotomayor, it doesn't matter who you are. Fresh and fit, it doesn't matter who you are. We all talk about fitness. And one thing that we hear, that women hear that's in this space, in our little corner of YouTube, is we talk about men want women who are in shape. And one of the things that we realize is that uh, in the black community, 80% of the women are overweight and 80% of those, that 80% is obese. And we're simply saying, before you get started, it's a non-starter if you're not fit. If you're not in shape, it's a non-starter. It's, you, you got so much more to overcome if you won't overcome uh, the fit side, right? And we don't mean skinny bone Jones, uh, iron born backside. We just talking about just be fit. It doesn't say be skinny. We don't say be thin. We don't say uh, uh, be uh, a, 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 a goddamn Olympian. We just simply say be fit, right? How many women that are over in this space are actually fit? They listen to the talking points. They come to King Talk like I was on last night. They go to my shows. They go to everybody's different shows. They go to all these different places. And then you look around and you say, oh, how many of you guys are actually fit? Not very many of them. They want to circumvent the fit side and then try to overcompensate with the other stuff where that is really hard to do because you got the feminine side where a lot of women are not that. And then you got the uh, the friendly side, cooperative side, which is a big issue with a lot of women as well. And our thing is the one thing that you can control that has nothing to do with personality, that has nothing to do with your job, that has nothing to do with your environment, that has nothing to do with the way you was raised has nothing to do with the fact that you had a father or a mother in the house. None of that has any bearing on getting your ass in the gym. And a lot of people, men and women, want to ignore the fit side. And it's really mind boggling for me that they would ignore that of all the things. So shout out to the women who claim that they wanna do things better to get better outcomes and is actually doing the very first one, which is maintaining a fit lifestyle. Shout out to you ladies. I'll be right back. I got to grab my charger. <laughs> <coughs> Oof. Oh. just say guys my leggings are getting too big <laughs> <laughs> they was falling off <laughs> that's a good thing though that's a good thing did she say her leggings are getting too big yes my leggings yeah. are getting too big <laughs> <laughs> oh I love those kind of problems yeah I'm like wow well, I keep pulling them up <laughs> I love those kind of problems your leggings are getting too big. I told you guys by the end of this, none of your clothes are going to fit. Mm. By the end of this, none of your clothes are going to fit. So I hope you have a budget or start budgeting uh, between now and the next 45 days. Because in 45 days, if you guys stick with me every day and you do this workout every day. Well, if you do with me what we just did every day for the next 45 days, you will be forced to buy new clothes. It's just that simple. It is nothing. There's no way around it. You don't get to. It's not, you don't have an option. The only, th the only thing that you can do is take it to a tailor and get it taken in. That's all you can do. Other than that, be prepared to buy new clothes. Uh, that includes your underwear. <clears throat> that includes your underwear. So, fellas, if you wear a big, some big-ass drawers, get ready to go buy a whole new two weeks, uh, <coughs> 14 new <laughs> a pair of drawers. Your drawers is going to drop a size. Ladies, your bra sizes, if you guys are on the... Um, 
on the inside clip of those three clasps, uh, be prepared that your cup size is not going to change. Uh, but the outside. So if you are 36, you might be a 34. If you are 38, you might be a 36. You'll still be a D or a C or a B or an A. Your cup size won't change. Uh, but that back fat is going to start disappearing and melting away. And because that back fat melts away, your bra size is going to start getting tighter. So even if you're on the last class, you'll be into the third one. And if you're already at the third one now, just be pre prepared to go back to Victoria's Secrets and buy a new bra because you're going to need to. Yeah, that's it. I'm already at the third one. <laughs> And I ain't worn a size 36 since I was a sophomore, damn freshman, sophomore high school. Imagine that. Ain't been, oh my God. Imagine that. Just stick with, wow. stick with your boy. Stick with your boy every day between now Mama. and the end of February. Hey, I'm going to be able to go to my son's house and steal their clothes like they used to do me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, team. I'm glad you guys was here. I want you guys, oh, let me end my workout. Uh, I want you guys to have a fantastic Wednesday, I think today is. Today is Wednesday. Have a fantastic hump day. Uh, we'll be back at it again tomorrow morning, Thursday, 6 o'clock in the morning. Uh, we'll, ha we'll have the workout ready. We'll just knock out another 45 minutes and do it all over again. You know, the, nice thing, that's, the, the thing that's a trip, though, is this has taken nothing away from your day. This is the part that I'll be trying to, I try to, I try to implore to people the most about building a lifestyle of fitness and health is that it doesn't take away any of your daytime activities. So a lot of people like to make excuses and say, listen, man, I don't really have a time. When I get home, I'm tired. I can't wake up in the morning, so on and so forth. But then when you force somebody to get up an hour earlier, all you got to do, because the only difference is, is just getting up an hour earlier. And then if you wake up one hour earlier, then you got one hour of workout and so then you'll meet yourself where you would have been still asleep so the thing is what we're getting ready to do right now it's seven o'clock here where i'm at right it's 10 o'clock on the east coast and everybody has their things that they they got you already have out your day planned right now you know if you got to go make some runs you know if you got to run to the bank if you got to go over to to the dry cleaners you know if you got to go get your car take get the light the check engine light looked at you know the shit that you guys got to do today on this wednesday the thing is if you would not have worked out with me this morning, you will, it's not like you, you didn't lose. You, you're still gonna be able to do everything that you plan to do today. In addition to that, you just burned at least 500 calories. And so that's the part that doesn't, that blows my mind for most people. They're like, damn, they think that working out is gonna take away all this extra time of theirs. And it doesn't, what you do is you just make time for it where you always had it. None of us has an itinerary like, uh, President Obama. You know, none of us have to go meet with any fucking state dignitaries or jump on a G4 uh, uh, jet and fly across the country to go do some important fucking uh, philanthropic work. So none of us have to do that. So we all have the time to do this. And I'm glad that you guys are making time to knock it out. I'm glad that I don't have to uh, come looking for you guys every morning that you guys are actually here. And um, it's very motivating and, and, I'm, and I'm glad because after every workout, sometimes I wake up in the morning, I'm like, I don't want to do this shit. And then after I do it, I say, damn, I'm, I'm so glad I did that today. Cause ain't mm -hmm. no, I, ain't, I haven't missed a beat. So I appreciate you, Lakeisha, Christopher, Sorrell, Hi Kai, and everybody at YouTube. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you guys. I'll see you in the morning, okay? Mm -hmm. All right. Hey, y'all have a great day. Bye, team. You, you too. as well. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, that is it for the day. We are done for the day. What am I doing here? Let me close this out. Why did that open up? All right. You, another daily burn. We knocked it out. You saw the team. Uh, we made it happen this morning. We are doing what most people don't do. We are doing, you know, the Army's motto when I joined the Army years ago was we do more before 8 o'clock than most people do all day. That was the Army's motto. I don't know what it is today. I'm sure they've changed it. Uh, but back when I joined uh, uh, during the Gulf War, <laughs> uh, the motto was we do more before 8 o'clock than most people do all day. Right? Right now it's 717. It's 717 where I'm at in Los Angeles, California. So 
you know and i started up the video late <clears throat> i didn't start the video until like 6 uh 10 6 12 or something like that right so it's just been one hour one hour right for those that did not work out with us but watch this the entire time i hope you're stretched because if you did that you did more than most people in your phone book if you want to get the mindset of working out just watch us all you got to do is just watch us we'll motivate you you'll sit around and watch us do this and be like wait a minute now why am i sitting here watching them do that when i know i can lift my arms and do something myself so it's all about a mindset change right that's what we talk about we say fitness is 80 percent nutrition 20 percent in the gym 100 percent mindset i learned that from my friends at herbalife so I want you guys to uh, make sure that you hang out with us as often as possible. Get into the mindset of a fitness lifestyle. And then you'll get to the point where you'll feel like you're cheating when you don't work out. You want to get to the point where you feel like you're cheating on yourself. It's like, like you like it, you know, like if you, when you're in a relationship with somebody and, and maybe, you know, uh, somebody's flirting with you and you're like, God damn, I got a, I got a whole, you know, boyfriend or girlfriend and, I, no, I can't cheat. You know, you feel bad well, some, for some of y'all. Some of y'all don't give a fuck. But for me, I'm not a cheater. So when I'm in a relationship, it's like, yeah, I can't really, you know, I'm, I'm kind of like, I got my eyes on one girl. That's how you'll feel when you get, when you build a lifestyle of fitness. You'll be like, man, I got my eyes on my body. I want to make sure I keep doing it. And the day that you don't work out or the day that you decide to go eat some junk food, you'll be, you'll feel bad. You'll be like, oh man, I don't want to. I can't do that. I, I can't do that. I, I can't have worked out and put all this ec this sweat equity into my life on a daily basis just to turn around and eat this bullshit. Nah, I appreciate you, but no, no, thank you. I don't, I don't want to slice. You, you can keep that. Or you'll be like, damn, I got to Let me go do something. Let me go. Let me go. Uh, let me go. Just do a walk around my building during lunchtime because I know we're doing this. We're locked in at my job and we got this whole project and we're doing this, but I, I still got to go do something. That's, where, that's the kind of mindset you want to grow by doing uh, some kind of fitness. So I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the morning at 6 o'clock, same time, same place, where we will do the daily burn. We're going to do more of the Insanity Workout. We're in the first month of this two-month program, and I'll talk to you guys soon. I appreciate you, and you have a wonderful, wonderful Wednesday. Yo lo quiero, pues dímelo a mí Que no me hago daño Baby, cuando te vi Con tu falda No exagero, me quiere morir Yo sé que Estoy loco por ti
sepan tomo que te invito mi papá ya Y ahí nos vamos por el mundo toda falla Estamos locos en Reba Yo lili 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 Y ando bailando cuecas y pijú en el literary Y no me importa lo que dicen los que hate on me Lo que importa bebé que sea mi Hennessy